Morning, folks. Another episode of Oil Talk with Dirt Road Dave. On today's episode, we're going to continue talking about pipeline maintenance, specifically sending a pig. Right here, I have all the tools that we're going to need to do this job. Of course, we got the pig, a rag for wiping stuff up, some grease for greasing up the cap when we're done, good old handy dandy crescent wrench, and a brass hammer. Now, why a brass hammer? Well, because when you strike metal on metal, there can be sparking, and when you're dealing with flammable gas, spark's not a good thing, so brass doesn't spark out. So here we have our pipeline riser system complete with pig barrel. All the pig barrel is, is it's an enclosure. The cap we can knock off to insert the pig into the pipeline. Step one, we're going to open up the bypass line here. Step two, we're going to close in and isolate the pig barrel. Step three, we're going to take our handy dandy crescent wrench and take out this plug here. Step four, we're going to put on our handy dandy earmuffs because it could get loud. Step five, we're going to vent off the pig barrel nice and slowly to depressure it. Now that all the pressure's off it, our valve's open, we're going to take our brass hammer and knock off the cap. Going to check it, make sure that it's good. And she's open. Step six, take our appropriately sized pig and just shove it on in there. Just like that. Sometimes it helps to get the pig to seat by just giving her a little shove in. Make sure it's in there good. Step seven, we'll just clean off the surface here. Step eight, we're just going to take some of this lubricant and smear it on there. Okay, step nine, now the pig's in, she's lubed up. Let's go ahead and screw her cap back on. And give her a couple taps. Make sure that she seals. Step 10, we're gonna go ahead and close the vent valve and put our plug back in. Give her a little snug. Make sure it's in there good. Now for the fun part where we get to launch the pig. Okay, step 11, we're gonna open this valve nice and easy to pressure up the pig barrel again. Make sure we got no leaks. So far, so good. Now we're gonna go ahead and close the bypass to pressure up the barrel. And we open up the other valve and just wait till she launches. Pressure will build up behind the pig and away she'll go. And there you have it. And of course the last and final step with any project is we clean up our tools, put everything away. Well folks, I hope that was both helpful and informative. And if you have any other oil and gas operating related questions, 